I'm here to clear my name. Darcelle is my ex-girlfriend, and we was good, best friends. I loved her, and I was there for her. She was there for me. We was happy, a happy family, until I got accused of molesting Darcelle's daughter. About a month ago, I received a call from Darcelle, said come over and get a few things. When I came over to Darcelle's house, she woke up her daughter, and her daughter said, I touched her leg, and I put my power apart. And before I said anything, she swung on me and started hitting me. And that's when she, she said, get out before I call the police. She pushed me out the side and threw me outside. And I don't know where she getting this from. I will never touch Darcelle's daughter. I love her. I love her own child like it's my own. I think the little girl said this because me and Darcelle broke up and she was angry at me about me and Darcelle breaking up. Um, he already wasn't in my house at the time, but she came to me and she said, can I tell you something, Mom? I said, sure. This was about maybe 10 p.m. I said, what's wrong? She said, um, do you know where brothers' private parts look like? I said, what do you mean? She said, they're I just fell back then, like, I'm blown away. Like, I said, well, when did this happen? She said, um, it happened about three times, three different occasions. Um, when you were at work, because I'm a single mother, I work six days a week. She said it happened on the Saturdays I'm at work. So I said, okay, did he put his private she said no, but she called her private part tutu. She said, he touched my thigh and tried to touch my tutu. And I said, where were you at? She said, I was laying on the couch while he was watching me. I was playing the game, and he came up and asked me, can he play with it? And I said, you sure he wasn't talking about the game? And she said, no, my tutu. I said, OK, it had, how many times? One, two, she said, two times he tried to touch her. And a different occasion, um, she said he pulled his private out. I just called him Saturday. Hey, come over so I can talk to you. So he came. She was asleep at the time. I said, um, my daughter's telling me you touched her. He looked surprised. I said, I'm gonna ask you one time. I don't know why I asked him that, because I know he's not gonna say yeah, but I asked him anyway. I said, I'm gonna ask you one time. Did you touch my daughter? He said, no. So I woke her up. It was late, but I woke her up. I said, tell brother what you told me. And she told him the story. As soon as he said he didn't do it, I just took off on him. I just started beating him up. I, could, I blacked out. I, stop, I start hitting him till I seen blood. I'm like, just, just get out, get out. The next morning, she woke up and added more things. So I wanted to make sure everything was out. So Monday, I called the police, got CPS and all that involved. She went to her um, visit to CPS and they had the little dolls, boy and girl dolls. And um, I guess she put one of the dolls on top of each other. She didn't tell me that, but she did that at CPS. So um, they came to me like, well, she's stating that he got on top of her and all that. So we left. And I'm like, why you didn't tell me brother got on top of you? And she was like, well, I was just showing them how the dolls have sex. So I don't really know if he tried to have sex with her or if she was confused or anything. I don't know. I just need answers. I was telling you originally uh, these things about uh, touching her leg and her private parts and there is an open investigation there into is. this right now. So yes. the police got involved, CPS got involved. Um, it, it, do you believe that uh, Joseph did this? Steve, I'm so confused. Like, I want to believe him, but I don't want my daughter to be lying to me either. Like, I'm in the middle. Like, right. I don't know. And you certainly don't want your daughter to be a victim right. of this. Right. He's here today. He, said, uh, he took a lie detector test. If he would pass, what would happen if he would pass? I'll be happy, yeah. but it's some things I would have to clear up with my daughter where she's getting this from. Right. Darcy, I will never do this. But my daughter's not going to lie to me about nothing like that. It's I was there for you. You was. Everything. But I'm there for my daughter, though. I know. I, I will know never hurt y'all, too, ever. What? <sighs> Joseph. Yes. I love you all that, but that don't matter right now. Right now, my daughter matters to me. Okay. Of course, of course. You believe your daughter. Of course, Darcel. Okay. 
and everything, everything I tell you. She came to me first before I came to you. I know I should have told you, but she came Why to me. Why are you hiding secrets with a I, Wait, well, hold on. I, I, was trying to get, I was trying to get facts. I was trying to get facts before I tell you. That's good, yeah. Hold on, I, 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 got, I, had to, I was no, gonna give you a no. chance, but I have to interject on, on that point there. So you're saying that her daughter comes to you and says what? She was telling me about everything, what she just said, and about, and that's when she asked me, do we have sex and all that? I'm like, whoa, like, seriously? That's you, me and you never told her about this conversation? I, no. I was, could tell her, I was trying to get all the facts straight. I know it, it's bad, but I was trying to, I sounds, was trying to, yes, sounds yes, terrible. yes, and I was trying to get no. all the facts no. before, I, I came to her. You know what? I, I won't ever okay. touch a child. That story there is so unbelievable. Um, I know. See, I, I, know. I mean, uh, I try to give this story every time I do a show. I try to give the story a fair chance because I never know the results bef uh, before the show or during the show until I read them. But I got to tell you, when you're saying that story, it makes me. It's creeping, creeping me out. It's creeping line. me out. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Yeah. Because I will never hurt them too. I love them to My death. My daughter's not gonna make nothing like that up. So this is a girl yeah. at the time uh, who's very specific, uh, who can verbalize, you know, and, and, and talk very specific about your private parts, what they look like. You know there's an open investigation. Yes. And the police are looking into this matter right now. Yes. Um, and they haven't I can't concluded do my anything, job. but it's still open. So you, you would know that if you fail the slide detector test, one, I'll have to bring all my security up here. You are. Um, and two, you are. you're gonna be in big trouble when you get home. Yes. I will never harm a little girl. Joseph came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him, have you ever sexually molested Darcel's daughter? He answered no, and the results for Joseph's lie detector test is he did not tell the truth. <laughs> No, no, I swear to God, Steve. Okay. Man, what the f no. Get is Steve. off of me! We administered wow. this test. What the f administered this test three, Sail, man. three times. Me too! You don't love me! I don't you love, love me! I never touch my freedom! Get off of me! Oh my God, seriously? People like you make it hard for single mothers like me to trust people. Hell. <laughs> See, only thing she got me, Jimmy. Um, man. Wow. Okay. Wow. You really made a lot of impact on me when she said it. You're the kind of guy who makes it hard for a single woman to trust anybody with their kids. You, hey, uh, that's Wow. One of the most evil things that you can do while you have this life on this planet is to hurt a child. And I believe that's what you've done. I don't think it's the first time. I hope you rot in jail. You get the hell off my stage. <laughs> so all I can say is, uh, you know, you have your answer here. Uh, even that story you told, I mean, I don't think you needed this. No, you hear that guy tell that story, you know something bad happened. I wanted his ass to hear it. Right. Um, but the good thing is, now when you go home, I hope this investigation speeds up, and I hope uh, Joseph gets what he has. Can I keep doing papers? Of course. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. I was ready. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.